inspiration, creation, incarnation, resurrection, salvation, all variations on a theme. Breathe in, breathe out. By that exercise, I have defined and explained inspiration in a very limited form. As words literally cannot be said without the breath of life, divine inspiration is the breath of spiritual life. Using another brief but hopefully instructive analogy, let's look at John's monologue, John 1, verses 1 and 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. Inspiration, like incarnation, but on a much, much smaller scale, is the breath of God in man for the purpose of salvation. With the incarnation, it is Jesus living in human form, while with inspiration, it is the Holy Spirit speaking through human forms. The Bible itself claims to be inspired. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 from the ESV, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete and equipped for every good work. 2 Peter 1, 20 through 21. But know this first of all, this is the New American Standard, 95, that no prophecy of scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation, for no prophecy was ever made by an act of human will, but men moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. Moved means carried along. Think of how a wave carries along foam or how wind carries along a leaf. Putting these two texts together, God breathed out the spirit so that the scripture is written by men being carried along by the divine wind. This idea of God breathing out is also found in Jesus, incarnate God. John 20, 22, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Putting breathed out with inspired, we can say words breathed out by God are breathed in by man and written down. This describes the Bible. It is God's word to man, not man's words about God. How did God create Adam? He breathed out and into a body that was not alive, which became Adam's first breath. Genesis 2, 7. Then the Lord God formed the man out of the dust of the ground and breathed the breath of life into his nostrils. The man became a living being, the CSB. You see how much God creating man is like God creating scripture? God breathing life into Adam and God breathing the words of life into men is like God breathing out on our resurrection on the final day. The resurrection is pictured in the Old Testament describing dead Israel coming back to life. So please read Ezekiel 37 verses 1 through 14. In that text, there is a connection between prophecy, which is God moving and breathing out and into Ezekiel, with God causing breath to come into the body so that they become alive. That same process of God breathing out and into the dead describes not only our bodily resurrection, but our spiritual resurrection, salvation. Titus 3, 5, he saved us, not by the works of righteousness, which we have done, but God, according to his mercy, through the washing of regeneration and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Acts 2, 38, repent, Peter said, and be baptized, each of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. God foreshadowed resurrection and inspiration by the way that God created Adam. In that first breathing out of God and breathing into Adam, we have a picture of inspiration. Another scripture that shows us the close connection to inspiration in our bodies is Hebrews 4, verses 12 through 13. But let's close with this idea. God made Adam by breathing out and into him. You can believe that scripture is breathed out and into the human writers. You can believe that everyone needs to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, God incarnate, for the forgiveness of sins. And they will receive the life of the Holy Spirit. You can believe that one day our dead bodies will come back to life by God breathing out and into us all. 
Amen. This has been Perry Hall with a few moments with Perry. If this has been a blessing to you, please like, please share, and please subscribe. Thank you very much.